After Jesus' resurrection, he appeared to the disciples, then ascended into heaven. Acts 1.11 picks up from this part of the story, and angels show up to the disciples and say, Men of Galilee, why do you stand here looking into the sky? The same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Jesus will return and he's coming for a bride who has made herself ready for him. But what does that look like? When I got the vision for this painting, I really didn't know what it was God was saying to me. I kept asking him, what is a closed heart? What is an open heart? What does that look like? And the bride of Christ who has made herself ready, the church, is one who is open with sin, issues of the heart, things that we would normally try to hide from people are actually making things worse in our heart. And that's not the type of church he's coming back for. Sins like um, telling lies or lust, jealousy, um, even fearful issues, anxiety, All these things God wants to hear about. He wants to help us walk through. And we may be embarrassed by it. And that may be why we're holding it back and and remaining closed about these issues. But it's making us ill. It's making our hearts sick. And not only is it making us sick, but it's also not the church he's looking for. He's not looking for a bride who tries to make it look like everything is perfect. Um, He's looking for one who's open with each other, with our brothers and sisters in Christ, um, confessing our sins daily, normally, um, as a well-practiced habit, and also with Him, confessing our sins to Him. He already knows it's there. And when we do this on a regular scale, on a regular basis, it keeps our heart healthy. And when our heart is healthy, we're able to love. Otherwise, our hearts can be bogged down by these things and weighed down. And you'll, you'll see it because some people become more agitated. They become, you know, impatient whenever their hearts are holding back the issues that they're carrying. And that's what the Lord has asked me to come on and talk about through this painting is what type of bride he's coming back for. Um, Read scriptures about washing each other's feet, um, confessing our sins. It's, It's a thing. It's a good thing. It brings refreshing. On Rosh Hashanah, I wanted, um, or the Lord had asked me to release this message. And I just want to bless everyone who's listening, um, that your heart may be open, that you don't withhold anything, and that you have courage to be open with people and to heal. Healing comes when we unlock the things hidden in our hearts and share it with one another.
Jesus blood.